It's an effort targeted at raising money to save some of the most historic artwork in Western Montana. Yet it's also bringing different faiths together with a reminder of the values that they all share. MTN's Dennis Bragg reports. The inspiration came to Janice Cates two years ago, but it wasn't until recently the idea of producing a full presentation of inspirational music with a choir and orchestra started to gel. And then gradually it just grew. It grew from the three, four of us, five of us, into now we have over 100 people who are participating. And it's so beautiful that the music speaks for itself. And I just, But I consider it a true miracle. That's not really an understatement. In a time when the world is so full of animosity and fighting, local Christians are coming together, raising their voices in a program designed to inspire. And we have united Methodists and Catholics and Latter-day Saint, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, all together singing this music that we all relate to because we all love the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ. That's the name of the program. The 80 Voice Choir, which will be joined by a full orchestra, is practicing underneath the historic dome of the Catholic St. Ignatius Mission. so many diverse religions and personal beliefs and all come together in a unity of faith and be able to sing and harmonize not only with the music but with our souls. I think that's what the message of Jesus Christ really brings to us is that um, if there's one thing that means to be a Christian, and that is to love your brothers and your sisters. And there's the history tie-in. The upcoming performances here and in Missoula will raise money with the project to save and restore the century-old murals, 58 panels telling the gospel story. This is one of the most beautiful edifices, and to be able to, when everyone hits their note perfectly on pitch and they swell with the music, and then it just resonates, it, there's been moments where I've been in tears because of it, and it just is, it's so powerful. I love it. We want to restore this church. It is so gorgeous and beautiful. You know, people come from all over the world to, to see it, and we want it to be pristine. Dennis Bragg, MTN News, St. Ignatius. And practices will continue every Saturday through March 17th with an open invitational for people to join. Performances start on March 18th.